This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. everybody it's your old pal Rob uh, today we are going to be taking a look at my favorite Steve Jackson games of all time now this is my list uh, doesn't mean that you know it's just my opinion okay um, it, it's kind of funny because a lot of these games kind of intertwine with each other and they're spin-offs of each other but um, the way I saw it where these are the ones that I continually go to and play a lot and I enjoy a lot. Um, and some of them, uh, you know, uh, for instance, I'll, I'll say one, but there's like 9,000 expansions for it. So <clears throat> um, I'll explain things as we go, of course. Uh, these are my favorites. Uh, I would love to hear what your favorites are. Uh, you might be surprised at some of the things that uh, are, may not be on this list. So let's uh, go. Uh, it, um, it's a funny thing because, um, you know, when, when we talk about number 10, it's a game that I really tried to stay away from. I never enjoyed it. The, the, the humor wasn't in my line of things. But when they came out with Munchkin Dungeon, I really enjoyed that. Um, I, I had fun with it. It was different, um, and it was enjoyable. Uh, Munchkin as a whole is something that I really don't uh, gravitate to, but this particular game, I loved the figures on it. Uh, I actually painted them, and uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. And it's it stayed in my it's it's still in my collection. So at number ten is Munchkin Dungeons. I, I really like it, and it shocked me, that's for sure. And number nine is an old, you know, a lot of these games came in just little plastic bags, and this is one that I really enjoyed that I had gotten, and i never forget when I got it. I got it at a model shop, and I saw it, and I said, oh, that looks pretty cool, and that's Raid on Iran. Uh, a little-known thing that you probably didn't hear too much about, but uh, a very fun, very quick, uh, smart, put-together game. And that's what Steve Jackson is, is known for, is really just, just having smart, fun games. That's what it really boils down to that. It's as simple as that. <clears throat> At number eight, uh, this, this one, you know, GURPS, GURP you can, you can do like a million different things with. Um, there are so many different expansions. You can do GURPS Conan and, you know, and, and it, it, no matter what, there were books for it. And if, you know, if you go on eBay and just put in the word GURP, I mean, there's like a thousand things out there. And it was amazing how this thing just kept cranking, almost like how, how Munchkin, there's like 9,000 different ways you could play Munchkin. And um, I, I really enjoyed this because we would take it and do different things with it. And that's part of the beauty of his games is that it, it, it was left to your imagination in a lot of ways. At number seven, this is uh, more about this box set, uh, The Fantasy Trip where it includes a whole bunch of different things that you were able to get separately. And one of the things that I've really enjoyed in recent years are these mega box sets that he's been doing. And uh, this was one of them. I picked it up at Miniature Market and I was blown away by it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I did a couple of live plays on it. As a matter of fact, I think I, I had Aldi as our hero in one of the combat things we were doing. And it was just so much fun. And I did it by myself and I, I just had a blast. And Fantasy Trip is just glorious. Uh, a must-have. Uh, a real must-have. So 10, 9, 8, 7... I was just making sure I had the right number there. Okay, so uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, at number six um, is, is a game that uh, really, you know, it's it, it's kind of hard not to 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 include these smaller games, 
but this is one page bulge and this is one of those games that I wonder if a lot of you would even know it look it up it was one page and it came with everything in this little baggie and you were able to just do these things and back in the day when you know when I was young and it was you know a lot of the Avalon Hill box sets you know when you got things like this you you know you used your imagination you know the theme was there everything was there for the taking and we would just play for hours upon hours I mean we didn't have much you know we had three channels on our TV for God's sakes it was right around the time cable started coming around but even then you know your parents hogged that up okay and uh, you couldn't watch anything and uh, so you know you played games you went outside you did different things but being in the Northeast six months out of the year it was freezing out so as kids you know we would we would get these games and we would just play and play and play and one page bulge uh, we played until we turned blue and number five is a game that is kind of taken from a video game it's 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 a first person shooter and it is absolutely glorious i have the gold edition of this i have a couple editions of it and that's frag uh frag is a lot of fun i actually laminated i don't know if i brought it here yet uh, i have a huge laminated map uh, where we would just run around with our figures and and the best part about it is you know I would take a space marine or my, uh, my son would take an orc and it didn't matter because uh, where you put your uh, statistics on the piece of paper there and drop my pencil pen um, you know determined what your guy was maybe he was higher at, at firepower or things like that and you had these three slots and and you know how you created your guy your guy would die then he'd have to respawn and uh you know picking up power-ups and things like that and it was just so much fun and uh you know it was a game that was best you know if you played two player which was fine we would do team deathmatch where we'd had two figures each or if you had four people or six people it was just all out mayhem and just fun um and a lot of these games are beer and pretzel type of games and they hold up today they really do and this guy's a legend and always will be at number four is an all-time great um one of my favorite little box sets and that is Starfist. okay this asteroid uh this whole story about the rebels and the federation and this 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 asteroid that became a starship and full powered and trying to take it out and then this thing trying to destroy uh you know planets and stuff like that it just became this wild uh, you know it was like mr toad's ride you know just this wild unexpected thing and just glorious and uh star fist really st stands out matter of fact i have it right over here um <clears throat> see now i won't even have to put a little thing here for you guys uh you know starfist uh, just just holds up today um the terrain space fleet faces a killer asteroid and it's that kind of a little bit of imagination and <clears throat> you know 22 by 24 map uh and you know you got 100 counters two dice and an eight page rule book and you are off and running and that's the kind of games that Steve Jackson was noted for and are just great and that's why it's number four on my list and number three is triplanetary uh, space combat done right uh, just a lot of fun smart intelligence they came out with a box set uh, not about a year or two ago uh, I suggest you get it um, uh, it's hard to come by, but if you can find it on eBay, you can probably get it for about 50 bucks it's, and you won't be disappointed. Triplanetary is a masterpiece. And it's something I'm going to bring in here and do at some point. I say I'm going to do a lot of things lately uh, with, the, with the farm. It's kind of hard, but we do try. But Triplanetary, glorious, glorious, glorious game. And it's, you know, space combat at its best. Um, just 
tons and tons of fun. Spent a lot of Saturdays, Friday nights and Saturdays playing this when I probably wish she'd been out, you know, uh, running around like a fool. But uh, we all hung out, we all stood together, and uh, we all played a lot of fun games and triplanetary. Ate up a lot of my, my teen years for sure. At number two, uh, this is where uh, Steve Jackson really has started to shine. And this is a game where he did his first massive box set of. And this thing is glorious. I remember getting the little baggy thing, of course, of Ogre. But when, you know, uh, I believe it was 2014, 15, somewhere in there, they came out with the mega box that was Kickstartered. It was a hundred bucks. And every thing on the planet was inside that thing and it was you know uh, it, it took you hours to put everything together for crying out loud and to punch everything I still have that I refuse to let it go it will always be in my collection uh, matter of fact I have two of them and they are glorious ogre is one of my all-time favorites tank warfare at its best uh, the ogre itself uh, th that incredible unique looking um, vehicle I ha I've had so I've had like so many different versions of this through the years where you had the metal the metal uh, ogres and, and things like that and you know the mark four and everything like that it, it's just it's just one of those games that it, once you play once uh, you'll keep coming back to it and you'll go wow you know so much in a little packet well it's just so much in a game uh and, and and that giant box set is just glorious and it's my number two all time of steve jackson but i think you know what number one is um i think ogre was number one for a long time until this recent deluxe kickstarter edition and i wish he would do this with everything uh, just redo everything in a deluxe edition because when they tweak it and they do it, they just do it right. It's smart. He makes sure that they don't ruin the game. And Car Wars, pff, what can you say? Car Wars is just such a fantastic experience. Uh, you know, I still have the old versions where you it was just this overly complicated thing. But it, it was just fun. All on graph charts and and towns and stuff like that and the little paper cutouts and now you know you do it you have the tracks you know and all that other stuff and it just it's just fantastic it's a whole different thing now the models are huge and beautiful you paint your own cars you add your weapons to them and stuff like that and uh, uh, you, you know it, it's just it's it's one of those games that is just glorious. It's been redone and it's masterful. I love this game. Um, it had some competition for a while with Gaslands, which is still a fantastic game. But this latest edition of Car Wars has brought it into a new age and brought it in front of new people. And I think it really just fantastically stands out. And it speaks to the longevity and the creativeness of Steve Jackson and his fantastic team. A uh, tip of the hat, these are some of the greatest games uh, out there. And they are absolutely historically fantastic and uh, they are games that belong in your collection. There's no doubt about it, and you should have these. I love them, I think they're fantastic. You should check out some of these games, um, and I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed, and that's for sure. So there you go, another top 10, and until next time, our next one, it is your old pal Rob saying, we shall see you soon. Take it easy, everybody.